एजेंट्स ऑफ क्रेडेशन विंड विंड इज एन इनविजिबल फॉर्म ऑफ एयर मूविंग फ्रॉम अ रीजन ऑफ हाई प्रेशर टू अ रीजन ऑफ लो प्रेशर एंड इज ऑल्सो द थर्ड एजेंट ऑफ क्रेडेशन द एक्शन ऑफ विंड एज एन एजेंट ऑफ क्रेडेशन इज मोस्ट वाइड स्प्रेड इन प्लेसेज लाइक डेजर्ट because of the dryness and lack of vegetation in these places wind erosion is different from river and glacial erosion because it can move sediments uphill as well as downhill and this ability makes it possible to build dunes the soil that is piled into sand hills is called a sand dune every time a strong wind blows in this region the shape and the position of the sand dunes changes there are two types of sand dunes the first type is called barkans dunes which is the most common type it has a crescent shape with horns extended in the direction in which the wind blows it is mostly found in the deserts of rajasthan The second type of sand dune is called a safe dune which is also known as a longitudinal dune. In this type long ridges of sand parallel to the prevailing wind are formed. Because of the action of the wind different types of deserts are formed based on their surface and the type of soil covering them. The first type of desert is called the sandy desert. which is also known as the erg in sahara it is covered with sand and characterized by extensive sand dunes the second type of desert is the stony desert known as a reg in this case the fine sand has been blown away and is covered with boulders small stones and gravel it is found in algeria libya and egypt The third type of desert is the rocky desert known as Hamada in Sahara. In this type all stones and sand particles have been removed by the wind and is characterized by a surface of bare rock. It covers large areas in Saudi Arabia. Wind erosion occurs through two processes. The first process is called deflation. in case of which wind blows away the sand particles and dust leaving behind the surface of coarse material another type of wind erosion is called abrasion in this process wind carries sand particles and drives them with force against objects in its path which creates a friction between the sand particles thereby causing erosion As the wind blows from different directions landforms of irregular shapes develop in this case sand particles are carried along by the wind close to the ground and hence the rock gets eroded at its base for example mushroom rock which has a narrow trunk and a broad umbrella shaped top is formed by wind erosion winds deposit material when their velocity decreases when they encounter an obstruction or when it begins to rain in some parts of the world the surface of the earth is covered with deposits of wind blown soil which is known as loess an example of the same is the yellow soil found in north china